Dinner tables across Mexico tell the story of the country's worsening diabetes problem. Ana Maria is preparing a meal for her teenage son, Carlos. He's 17 years old and weighs 137 kilos, more than twice the recommended weight. Reuters has agreed not to reveal his identity as a vulnerable minor. In January, he tested positive for COVID-19 and spent a month in hospital. A borrowed oxygen tank now stands in the middle of the living room and he has regular appointments with the nutritionist and lung specialist. Carlos is one of about 150 girls and boys who have been treated by doctors, nutritionists and psychologists at a children's hospital in Mexico City over the past 12 years. In two years, diabetes rates jumped a full percentage point to 10.3%, one of the highest rates in the world, as more than a decade of poor eating habits took its toll. High-calorie temptation is everywhere, despite efforts to limit sales of junk food to children and to label products clearly with high salt, fat and sugar content. More than half of Mexico's adult population works informally, Parents often earn less than the daily minimum wage of around $7 and commute long hours, leaving them no time or money to purchase and prepare nutritious meals. At another table, Patricia lays out food for her overweight 14-year-old. Calmar mucho del estómago, este como tipo gastroenteritis, vómito, diarrea, o luego ya veía que este consumía como muchas cantidades, entonces fue cuando ya me alarmó. También este, lo vi como más este, cansado, o con dolor de cuerpo, dolor de pie. Y eso es más que nada lo que me llamó la atención, el, este, el atenderlo, ¿no? During the pandemic, the issue has taken on urgency. Mexico's mortality data shows that of the nearly 230,000 people who died of COVID-19 as of June the 8th, around 45% had high blood pressure, 37% had diabetes, and 22% were obese. Metzaba Salgado is a nutritionist at the Children's Hospital. Y la publicidad gana mucho. Entonces los alimentos ultraprocesados son de mucho más, más fácil acceso, pero no tienen un valor nutrimental. Carlos says he started overeating when pressure intensified at school. Attempts to change his eating habits repeatedly failed. This is a visual representation of how much he would consume every day. Now out of the program, his mother is grateful. El apoyo emocional es muy muy importante tanto de los padres como de los hermanos, o sea, familiarmente hablando. Eh, nosotros apoyamos mucho a mi hijo y y no sé, o sea, gracias a Dios y a los doctores que lo podemos tener aquí.